Welcome to <laughs> Fireside Chat on the 5th of June, 2020. Yeah. 2020. Never thought well, I'd be around this It is the long. roaring 20s for sure. It really yeah. has become that, huh? Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it was, uh, I can't remember if it was last week when we did this or it was a, a weekend service or Wednesday night. I, I shared the idea that we have bigger problems in COVID-19. And maybe mm. it was with seeing what was coming up with uh, the George Floyd yeah. um, death and all the response to that. But that was Friday last week, and then Saturday the, the riots began, yeah. in just, just huge, mm. all over, and in L.A. as well, outside of uh, Minneapolis. But um, we need today to come to the table. You know that Friday, Fireside, we... Um, we have communion, and, and you're in charge of your own bread and cups, so please get that ready, um, because we really need to come to the table mm -hmm. today. That's a, a, a phrase that's used when you've got conflict, and you try to get two people to come to the table, and I think if we come to this table first and yeah. deal with our own heart, well, has to do then the that heart. sets the stage to fix all kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. But I want to sing this song. It's become one of my songs for this season. It's not my song. Robin Mark wrote it. And um, it just really, I think it's one of those statements for such a time as this. No, not by might. No, even power. But by your spirit, O oh Lord, healer of hearts, the binder of wounds, lives that are lost, restored. Once more, you are the healer of hearts and the binder of wounds, lives that are lost, restored. Come and flow broken land until every man praises your name once more. Father be with us as we spend these very few brief moments coming to the table Lord and focusing and centering our heart and our thoughts on what you have done for us. And oh Lord, we need your help in these days. So speak to us, Lord, as we prepare our hearts to come to the table. In Jesus' name, amen. Joy's going to share. Oh, yeah. Well, I just uh, I woke up this morning, and uh, I haven't been sleeping really good, and last night was really one of those nights. And um, although I slept... I didn't know that because I was sleeping yeah, sound. you were. <laughs> although I slept my mind felt tired when I woke up. So, and it means that my mind had never stopped. Mm -hmm. It had never stopped. And yet at the same time, when I woke up feeling that way, the word came to me, uh, Psalm 42, 11. Why are you cast down, O my soul? Hope in God. It says, why are you cast down, O my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, joy, hope in God. Come on, what's the deal? What's going on here? <laughs> Give it a rest. You know, why are you cast down? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the help of my countenance. He helps the way that I look. <laughs> That's good. You know? I like that. So 
put a put a joyful smile on it based right. in your confidence in Jesus. Right. It's the hope we have in you're Christ. You're always beautiful, by the in way. The, in the, <laughs> you're so sweet. Um, in, in the middle of everything that's going on. And there are big I, things going and on. And you know what? I tend to... I think about it all the time. Uh -huh. I think, well, what if it goes this way? What if it goes that way? Mm -hmm. What if, if that happens, then this is going to happen. And if that happens, then, then, then we're going to go over here. And then, it's, yeah. and then if that happens, and then well, uh, what? Is the Lord coming back right now? Is it going to? I don't know. Yeah. That's how my mind yeah. is going constantly with all of this. And we've been watching it, things yeah. stack up on top yeah. of each other. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, and so. When, you know, when I was away in Israel, actually, but before that, we could see, boy, something's happening. Something's happening with this pandemic, and and then we, we so we have been for for months now fighting that pandemic, mm -hmm. and starting last Friday and Saturday, we've oh, yeah. started fighting each other, and it's it's wild. I mean, we he, haven't fought each other. No, right? we no. <laughs> no, we never never has heard a discouraging yeah. word, mm -hmm. <laughs> but but we've been not and not just in the streets. The discussions and the disagreements in offices and people that mm -hmm. see things, people that love each other, even battling between, each other. Even between Christians. Yeah, and certainly online. I mean, that's, mm. the, 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 that's the ring. That's, that's the boxing that's ring of the world. That's where we forget who we really are. Yeah, that's the boxing that's ring of the world. Yeah. And I, I Googled this this afternoon before we started. Um, I just, and you can do this. It won't be encouraging. But if you just Google civil unrest in the U.S., and it's just a scroll and with just bullet points, and you can tap into each one of them, of the riots in, <laughs> since the 1800s down to today, over a thousand of them. There might be about 400 listings, but under many of those listings, it talks about multiple riots that broke out because mm -hmm. of the, the Chicago riots, the Cincinnati riots, the New York riots, mm -hmm. the Stonewall riots, and, mm -hmm. and, and even these now. So there's trouble everywhere. And something yeah. that you and I were talking about yesterday um, uh, is that how when, when we're facing all of these issues in our culture, all those issues that are all around us everywhere, uh, we've got a choice on how we're going to respond to that. Right. To today when I was walking, I decided I, I wanted to go back and revisit the this, this song list, um, the soundtrack of our generation. Mm growing up, and so I, I typed into Spotify uh, 1960s protest songs, mm -hmm. and the one that was right at the top of the list by Buffalo Springfield, one of the guys from Buffalo Springfield is a Calvary Chapel pastor in Colorado, Richie Fure, but um, it, it, it's uh, the, the lyrics to that song by Buffalo Springfield that was right at the top of the list, it's mm -hmm. for what it's worth. Starts mm -hmm. out, something's happening here. What it is ain't exactly clear. There's a man with a gun over there telling me I'd better beware. Like, you know, watch out. Mm -hmm. I think it's time we stop children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Now listen to this. There's battle lines being drawn. Nobody's right if everybody's wrong. Young people speak in their mind, getting so much resistance from behind. And then this one. What a field day for the heat. I, I can Ooh. almost quote this <laughs> without looking. What a field day for the heat. A thousand people in the street singing songs and carrying signs. Everyone's saying, mostly saying, hooray for our side. And that's, it's repeated again, as it always is, the, the battles in the street. So has anything really changed? Our world is filled with those things that you brought up yesterday. Um, the, uh, you know, the troubles that are all around us, the civil unrest, the pain, the injustice, the hate, the violence, the crises, mm -hmm. storms and floods and hurricanes and disease and danger. And, and, and most of those are outside problems, and, but many of them spring from the crisis of the heart, don't they? Yeah. I mean, especially when it comes oh. to um, racism, when Out it comes to... Out of the abundance of the heart. Yeah, when it, when it comes to the, bias and all that, mm -hmm. you know, we, we make our stand, we take our stand, and out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and it all comes right down to the heart of man. Many of those songs spring from the crisis of troubled hearts. Many of those, those issues, those crises that we're facing. So, um, we picked out Proverbs 4, 23. Last night we were talking about this. And I want to read it in three different uh, translations. Keep your heart with all diligence, mm -hmm. for out of its spring the issues of life. That's a new King James. I'll let, I'll, let you, mm -hmm. I'll let you read this last one. The message translation says, keep vigilant. That means, you know, be on guard. 
Watch over your heart. That's where life starts in the New Living Translation. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. The, oh. the way the heart is Guard set, your heart. Yep. it determines the direction you're going to walk in, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So when the crisis of our heart, I think, is addressed, then we're ready to address the crisis of our nation. I think we have something to say at that point and all other outside crisis. God may put us at the table with other people to help them sort out their issues. And, and there are some people that, you know, in maybe high-ranking positions or of great influence that are brought together at the table to discuss what are we going to do, how are we going to push mm -hmm. back this violence and answer the issues that are so much right up on the forefront of so many people's hearts. I think we can be a huge part of the solution when we've addressed the heart of our own crisis, which right. is our own right. Heart. And so we can have a place at that table, I think, an effective place at that table, only after we've come to this table. When we've come to what we're looking at today, that's why I said at the very beginning of our, our time, we need to come to the table of communion today. We, we need this moment here together in the presence of God. You at your house and our, us here at the, uh, the house where refuge meets. And, and by the way, we invite you to come this weekend. We've got the five services throughout the weekend, and you get all and the Tuesday. information online. And Tuesday, tell them about Tuesday while I look up the passage. <laughs> okay. And on Tuesday, ladies, we're going to be a meeting online as well as we're going to be open for you to come in here. And it's going to be a different study each week uh, on a different subject each week. I'm really excited. It's only going to be in the morning. It'll be live streamed at 9.15. Um, we won't have any child care, so uh, that's one of the reasons we're uh, keeping it just online. And, but, but anybody who, if you don't have children or you want to bring your kids and sit somewhere outside, um, we could maybe work that yeah, out. But um, uh, yeah, we'd love to have you come. It's, it's a 10-week thing that we have over the summer. It's the first time we've ever done it this way, and we're excited about it. Yeah. So. Come on down, ladies. And we are doing everything we can to keep our Resonance concert series going this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're hoping to have a place where we can seat close to 175 people outside. And uh, the concert is planned on, uh, we plan on it being outdoors, out in front of our, our, uh, our you know, building here. So you, you'll, you can look at refugefamily.com, get all the information about that. But this weekend... On Saturday night, 6 o'clock, you've got to RSVP, go to refugefamily.com, click on the RSVP button, and 100 seats inside the house here and a few overflow areas and then a lot more overflow outside. But no, again, no, S -R -V no RSVP. No RSVP for Tuesday. For Tuesday. They don't oh, have good, to. good. Yeah. So um, Saturday night at 6 p.m., Sunday morning, 7.30, 9, 11, and then 12.30, uh, PM. So five services this weekend. Come and be with us. And uh, but right now, let's come to this table. In First Corinthians, chapter eleven, Paul says it like this. This is from the New Living Translation. For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord Himself. On the night when He was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took some bread, and He gave thanks to God for it, and then He broke it in pieces. And he said, this is my body, which is broken, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. He took bread just like this. And it would have been a flat bread that was customary for their day. And he did something they'd never seen anybody do at the Passover table. He was establishing the simplest meal of reminder to us, a meal of remembrance, a Thanksgiving meal where we come together and remember what Jesus did on the cross to pay for our personal peace and potentially even give us a groundwork where we come together, men, women of every race that are so precious to God, bring, bringing us together at the cross. One man's blood was shed for every sinner, every man, woman, and child that has ever lived. And we have a place together at one table, all races, face to face, because of what Christ did for us. So, Father, we take this bread this afternoon and we pause to remember as we sit at this table, Lord, 
as we sit together with others in their home that are, are taking this bread of remembrance, this bread of thanksgiving with us right this moment, Father. We thank you for the body of Jesus that was offered for us. God, how you became a human being like us so that that one sinless sacrifice would cover all of our sins. And we say to you, Lord, today, thank you. Thank you for carrying our sin away on the cross in the body of Jesus. And we partake of this with thanksgiving right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's eat together. Thank you, Father. And then it says, in the same way he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this to remember me as often as you drink it. And that is probably Paul who adds these, letter, the, these words. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes. Mm. Why the bread? Why the cup? The, the bread speaks of the body upon which was loaded, literally loaded all of our sins upon him. And the blood, the wine speaks of the blood that was the payment for our sins, the blood of the innocent for all of the guilty. So we would have a place at the table of celebration with our God. So Father, we receive this with, with, with focus, Lord, and sober-mindedly, Lord, but yet still rejoicing that what was done there was done to set us free from the burden of our sins. So we rejoice in that, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's drink of the cup. Remember the price that was paid for you. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine all over you and be gracious to you. Uh, turn his face towards you. I love that translation from the New Living Translation. Turn his face toward you. You have his full attention today. Give mm -hmm. him your full attention. And maybe lift up that song to him. Lord, it's not by my might, my, my, my power, but it'll be by your spirit that all of these trials will be breached, that will overcome them. And especially thank you today, Lord for that, that crisis of my sin that's been lifted because of what you did for me. So let's continue to sing that to him and say that to him and then re let God use you as an outreach to those around you. God bless you. We'll see you this weekend either in person or you'll see us online from home. But come together with us and celebrate. God bless you. Keep doing great things for God. Amen. <laughs>